Hi, welcome to Ski Pad Support, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the common problems that some people have when entering rental rates on their listing. Now, to begin with, we're in our property listing here. We need to bring up the rates tab, so we do so just by clicking the rates button there. As you can see, this is where we enter our information, our rates calendar with two pre existing rates I've already added, and a quick summary of those rates there with options to edit and delete. Now, here I'm going to enter a summer rate and I'm going to add a start and end date using the calendar starting on the 4th of June and we're going to run right through till 2nd of September. Now we're going to add the weekly rate, I'm going to put in 250 uh, with listing in pounds and you can see the other options there. Fields available for nightly rates and per person per week if you need them. I'm just filling in minimum stay of 7 nights and I'm going to set my changeover day to a Saturday. And now that that's done I can click add rate now this is the first problem as you can see this rate period is not unique and that is because we already have a pre-existing rate that it overlaps and so therefore we need to ensure that none of our rates overlap and that brings us on to our second common issue now I know a lot of property owners like to offer their rates weekly usually from a Saturday to a Saturday or a Sunday to a Sunday and obviously with our system not allowing overlapping rates that means that we need to change it slightly as you can see here I've set a rate from a Saturday to a Friday for seven days but setting the minimum stay at seven nights so therefore even though the final day of the rate is Friday technically the final night is Friday as well which would make their departure date the Saturday and so as you can see just to show how to work things I'm adding another weekly rate minimum stay of seven nights, change over day of Saturday, running from the Saturday to the Friday. So you can now see we've got two rates there. And just to explain again and show you another example, we're going to add a rate for the third week, as you can see, running from the Saturday the 18th, and that will run right through till Friday the 24th. Adding the weekly rate, and again, setting the minimum stay to seven nights and the change over day to the Saturday. We click add rate. And once that adds, as you can see here, it's been a success. And there we have our three weekly rates back to back, all running from Saturday to Friday. And there they are here, all the summaries, start and end dates, not overlapping, and therefore the system is happy with it.